What's going on? It's good to have you here. Thank I you so much for joining. Uh, I mean, I, I, I reached out to you yesterday and you were immediately like, yes. And I <laughs> asked myself, it's like, I mean, I was just at the gym this morning and I was listening to you and Ogre. I know you were on with the Mythic Squad. Uh, on your stream with Ogre, you're like, I'm going on with the Brown Gent tomorrow to walk him through Fight Club, how to set that up. Like, I, how are you doing this, man? Like, it's, how do you, how do you so that? balance this? Like, I know you got kids. Like, yeah, the I love kids it. Are like, here. everybody loves your content, but yeah. I, like, it's so fun. I love it. The kids are here. It's just like, I've been pretty much all in DFK for months now. And, you know, the reason why I started the channel in the first place was I just saw a need at a time when things were real low. This after the bridge hack. And I, it was almost like the, the game is so awesome. The team is so awesome. The community is so awesome. And the, the third party developers are so awesome. I just couldn't help myself, but try to inject some life into the ecosystem and to help spread the, the good word of what I would call crypto's best kept secret DeFi kingdoms, baby. It really is. <laughs> it. I, I feel like it really is. There's yeah. They, I mean, we, I talk about this because things got dark there for a little bit, right? It like did. things got, things got pretty dark. I think it was kind of when you started kicking off a lot of That's your stuff right. and, yeah. and you know, you, you're still going to hear, I, I could name you the top 10 Twitter accounts that will, that will tell you it's a freaking rug. They <laughs> walked away with millions, except they didn't walk away. They're still building. So it's, it's a little know, inconsistent man. there, but yeah, it's, uh, it is a really, it is one of the best kept secrets. And you look at like, were you, were you in, uh, I mean, look, me and baby punch, we did it when, during like the craze last year, we, there was just so much going on. We're like, all right, listen, man, you send a couple thousand dollars to this wallet. I'll send a couple thousand. I will manage a, a Lavana dragons wallet for us. <laughs> and then I did the same for him and we kind of split it up because there was just too much. And so we kind of right. created our own little down. It's like, all right you're going to run our Krabata wallet and our, you know, we had a, we just kind of split it up because there were just too much going on and DFK. Right. And I look at every other game that I was in and it's just, you think, I mean, you, you look at the token price of jewel and stuff. It's like, nothing, nothing went unscathed. Like, no. Lavana dragons dead. They essentially announced that they're done. Um, yep. And, and you don't see the teams doing what DeFi kingdoms is doing like in any of these projects. Right. Uh, That's right. How's Krabata doing? Are they still grinding? It's or... a garbage fire. Uh, Is it really? Yeah. It, I, I mean, I think they're still it. there, but it's like it it was like so overrun with bots and oh. um and not in like a good way, right? I, I think there are game groups yeah. that could support botting no problem, but that right? one was just Shout out to Zellies and Helper, baby. Yes, yes. He's he's like family. Zellies is the real deal. He really is. I love G that guy. Gabe's awesome. I love that guy. And what's up, Zabu, Skiller, yes. T-Top, all you guys, Crypto Kong, Crypto Keith, everyone joining us. We got all JP. the awesome JP, baby. All the so, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I you know, I have so many questions for you. I was thinking like maybe we could double dip a little here because there are there are some stuff that like I'll be doing. I want to share my screen. And uh -huh. there's just gonna be some delay while like I'm leveling up showing a few things here yeah and i want to ask you some questions and obviously like feel free to jump in and ask whatever you want but yeah. one thing um i've been doing this strategy and i i love it i love i love stamp potting especially with um dfk <sighs> helper it's so easy right yeah it just I'll, does I'll find it these, yeah <laughs> i'll find these awesome heroes and i'll stamp pot but it gets expensive to level up to level from level one to ten it's a lot of stamp pots you go this, past level 10 and it's crazy Crazy so, and with the cost of tears, tears. <laughs> oh, yes, tears are nuts. So, one thing I have just loved doing is the dark summoning because if I dark summon with two level 10 heroes, I essentially get to take a re crack, take another crack at leveling up that hero 10 times. Like, it's like I stamp pot the hero 10 times. And the other thing I love is like picking up leg two legendaries, and I essentially get a re roll a guaranteed legendary. 10 times um and i wanted to show some of the heroes that yeah, i've kind of been doing that pot. with 
So I created what I did is I had a theory. Okay. I had a theory that um what I noticed with I have a level 16 mythic archer and what I notice in duels is that by the time you get late in the game like or that late that high of level in duels it doesn't really matter what all your stats are the only thing that matters is did your one high stat get picked did your background match and did your elements beat the other person's elements it's like otherwise it's like i've got my archer has 51 decks or something yeah yep. it's like what a monster skiller skiller skiller's in here he'll know what i'm talking about like uh -huh. he has a dread knight and we played each other I think every single match, it was like me versus his Dread Knight. And unless I hit Dex, his Dread Knight always won because his element won. But my Dex was so high that even with his element beating me, my if Dex was pulled, I usually won. So I was like, you know yeah. what? I'm going to get an army of budget, I call them budget, Dex heroes right. that have insane dexterity. And it doesn't matter what the background is or what the element is. If Dex pulls, they're gonna win. So that me, that is a cool you. strategy. But you know, I find that okay, especially if you're doing the war. Do, do you do? Yes, three it's war. Or? It's war. That's the okay. only way. I felt like because I needed I needed as many attempts at pulling Dex as possible. So like solos was just not gonna work. Squads wasn't enough. But nine nine pulls of Dex, and it's actually yeah. I was top ten until yesterday. Really? So do you find that usually if you select decks, about three to four out of the nine hit your stat? Four four is lucky. Four is like a good four one and I and I dominate, but three is pretty good. Two is like a yes. hard to win with just two. Right, right. So I know. So it's still good to have the balanced heroes, but I have the same strategy, except my top heroes are agility or luck because i've got all these ninjas and thieves okay <laughs> and so similar though same mindset but going the dex route now you also have a fight club team that's awesome yes <laughs> right because dex is is the most important dex is one to one fight. damage and one to one speed yeah. right so so look at some of these guys so like you'll notice they're all dark summoned uh-huh um this guy love this guy so yeah uh, yeah, I mean, like, I'll just flip them all real quick. So, 51 decks, 39 decks, 51, 38, 49. Wow. 45, 48 down here. Yeah. So the thing that's the thing that 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 really makes the difference here, guys, is the subclass. Yeah. Um. So, for when example, you use crystals and stones. So you, yes. you blew my mind when you talked about your strategy with dark summoning. Okay, go. I love this. Yeah. So let me like this archer archer. This guy is awesome. So look at this. You look at his growth stats. So he has 87%. This is just no stone, no attunement crystals. Because I used wow. a greater enhancement stone when I summon or when I level up, he has a 37% chance on the secondary roll. When I yes. use a greater dex crystal, you add 45% to that. So he's got a 82% chance on the secondary roll. Yeah. So essentially <laughs> I am gear I'm almost guaranteed plus three dexterity every single time I level this guy up. And, and so that's why he has greater crystals too. Yeah, so Dex, that's also why I did Dex. It was like my budget build, right? Dex crystals are just kind of cheaper. Nobody really, I mean, outside of Fight Club, people are like, Dex. And it's been right. it's been super fluid, right? Like first, I bought like 30 lesser Dex crystals last night. <laughs> yeah. Because I have, this, I have this theory with the lesser crystals that it's, it makes no sense right now to do training quests, right? So... I do as little amount of, of training quests as possible just because the only reason why I'm doing any is because of, I have too many miners and I don't want like 50 accounts. You know, I don't want to have too many accounts. Okay. So, and I think most people are going to do fewer training quests, which I think will likely possibly pump the, because of tiers going so high, likely pump the value of the lesser crystals. Okay. Sorry for the interruption. Keep going. No, no, no interruption at all. That's totally fine. And yeah, yeah, I, you know, I agree. Like, and I think just as a side note, like you, whether it's a greater, a regular, or a lesser crystal, like every level up should be used on a a crystal should be used. Like lesser crystals, especially, they're cheap enough. There's just no reason not. Right, to. especially at least you can get like an intelligence crystal. I think are the cheapest. Last I checked, it was 
you can it's it's less than a half jewel uh you know was the intelligence lesser yeah. crystals um so anyways i've just like i've enjoyed a lot going through the tavern and so wow. for me the the primary class like archer is obviously awesome if i'm going decks but yeah. an archer a warrior and a pirate if yes. any of those are the subclass they're gonna have like 17 percent. and then when i use a greater stone we're looking at mid 30s and when i use a greater attunement crystal you're looking at 80 percent 80 percent on the secondary rule so Man. so that's why I, I it was so funny i was so happy i went into somebody somebody screenshot it and they're like hey sam just go check it out somebody was in the duels discord uh on DeFi kingdoms and they're like who is d's nuts and how does his how does his level eight monk have 39 dexterity um and i was so happy i was like yes it's like whether i do well in duels or not like that alone like made me happy oh man i love it i love this so, so you are d's nuts <laughs> I'm these nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen you around. Do you do you have any Gen Zeros, by the way? Um, I do, not on this. So this okay. is just a duels account. I'm um, trying to get with all the Gen Zero posse people and see what pairs we might have to work possible trades, different things. Yeah, I've got a legionnaire, um, and I've just been uh so mr zipper got a scholar and we've just been renting it back and forth whenever it's there off, you go whenever there it's off cooldown we've just been renting it back and forth yeah yeah so uh anyways that i just wanted to kind of share that strategy i i love dark summoning and because I, I in my mind i view it as i have so much control over the situation i can guarantee the rarity i can guarantee the level that it's going to come out with and for example, if I, I did a lot, I did a bunch of number crunching. If I do two level tens and I come out with level 10, I save like 2,200 crystal in stamp pots. So I, I factor that in. It's like, you know what? Yeah, it kind of sucks to spend $700 or 700 crystals on two different legendary heroes and then to burn them. But I'm still better off than finding a good legendary hero, which by the way, isn't going to have the stone that I want. And I'd have to stamp pot them up to level 10. So it's like, I get to take a crack at leveling them up 10 times with crystals. I get to put the stone on that I want. I get to essentially guarantee the rarity that I want. There's just so much control over the situation. I love it. That, so. that was like big brain when you put it that way. So you do two level 10s. Okay, so I was going to ask you, how much does it cost to get a guy from level 1 to level 10? And so you said 2,200 crystal. It was like when I did the math a couple of weeks ago, we can have go. It was like 2,200 crystal for enough stamp pots. And that's just to get the stamp pots to level 10. Yeah. Wow. That is fascinating. So because that yeah. is just big brain. So you get a greater crystal. And I, and I saw that Workhorse did that too. You get, and then boom. And you then you go use the stone. You use the greater, 10. that greater stone, guys. That greater stone in the subclass. It's, it's oh everything. God. The subclass, because the subclass gets plus 18%. Yeah. And the primary class is like, uh, I'm going to misspeak here. Plus it's like seven, 8%. I think. Yeah, seven. or Seven. And then if you can line that up with the blue stat. So if you can, if it's yep. Dex is your thing. Woo. I did have a couple. Hey, love you. You guys leaving? Yeah. Okay. Love you. See you in a bit. Bye. Okay. So I, so I had, a, I had a Dex one yesterday. I was like, man, this is a perfect fight club because the green and the blue. So purple. Dex, but I, I just used a, a lesser deck stone, but that, it was like, you know, boom, you have 30, some, it was something close to 30, like 29 or 30 right off the bat, uh, a percent chance in the subclass when all those line up. And then even just using a lesser crystal, then you throw on a lesser crystal. That's you're pushing 40, let's see, 45 percent chance but a greater crystal where do you get all these greater crystals and stones to do so all? a lot of guys will win them from the raffles and the reality is it's like if you're not building decks guys you you've got eight greater decks crystals and you're like what am i doing with this right. so and, and then i come to this website um it's the dfk urn they've been removed from the castle but, um, but is that, to... that's the same as x urn is that x urn yeah, Xer. Yeah, sorry. It's it used to be DFK Earn, okay. and it's super confusing. So if you go to auction up here, it does not like. It's not what you want. Like I got, I got super confused. I was like, I don't see any greater crystals. So you got to go 
xern.pro slash swap. And that takes you to what was the equivalent of the old P2P swap. So interesting. Um, interesting. I come here, xernpro.swap. Okay. swap. I don't know why this isn't loading here right now, but um, I've, I'll shop around here for greater crystals and greater stones. For some reason, it's not loading right now. Okay, so xearn.pro. xearn.pro slash swap. That's the important part, because otherwise, if you come here to like the auction, okay, those auctions aren't going to have what you need. So for example, let's just like check out greater crystals. So 75 for Dex, I don't, I'm not going to, you know, I don't want to like be set the mark here, but I don't think anybody's buying that. Okay. Um, 55, so 55, any, anywhere between like 40 to 55 for a greater crystal. I, okay. I would pick up, you know, I think that's a pretty good deal. And then what about the stones? Like, look at the greater. Okay, yeah. That's... So greater mites are always way expensive. Yeah. Usually they've been in the like 800. So that's 675. Dang. Um, these ones are in jewel, which is thrown it off you kind of got to like double that price yeah, it's like Be careful there because don't double. think you're going and buying that with crystal um i've thought you know i'm all about the like off meta right everyone's everyone's like get, getting sages and going like int and wisdom or dread knights dragoons and stacking strength and so i'm all about budget like off meta stuff so like yeah. I, I think a four a, uh fortitude one so that's oh. endurance yeah might be cool because they're they're relatively cheap like 350 for that's 35 bucks um okay. which it's not nothing but compared to the other stones man it's cheap okay so that that's the cheapest right there interesting so yeah anyways um yeah, those, somebody those... said in the somebody said in the chat the the floor price of heroes just went up i'll be honest man they've been going up for a while i I like I've been I go and I look for level 10 heroes and I love level 10 heroes for the what I just told you because in my mind that's I see 2000 crystal I just saved um if I if I dark summon them because I okay. get a level up 10 times and cuz most of these are like level up like crap right like I've got level 10 archers right. with 50 dexterity and this guy's got 28 right yeah it's um, so annoying how most people don't use stones at all not even the lesser stones when they summon you know so most of these heroes don't have them and it's like ah oh, drives me nuts when i'm trying to buy a hero that i'm looking for. look how thin this market is this yeah. is level 10 legendaries and mythic there are only 16 heroes Dang. it's getting it, this the pickings are really slim um wow. you, you go to rares and it only goes up to 37. And honestly, I I mean, I don't want to try and influence the market, but that makes sense to me. It takes a long time to hit level 10. It's crazy, isn't and it? So when people are selling like a level 10 hero for 200 bucks, or sorry, crystal, right. it's like rare. I'm like, uh, snag that. I'm buying Man. that. Yeah, and it, it makes me so glad now, okay, with <laughs> level questing, sounds like right around the corner, I feel like, like yeah. a lot quicker than people realize and seeing the value of the items coming back up that makes me glad that i still have my army <laughs> i've got like 1400 heroes some, somewhere in that range and it's like man getting those tears Whew. yep so and then also yeah uh, because i've had them so long and thank god the bots like helper and waifu those bots man it, it's like I, i'm starting to get more quite a few hitting on that level 10 plus range. And you, I think I'll yeah, be glad do you use I helper. Them. I do, but it's just as like, I haven't hardly given it any attention or time. So it's just like, as a trial thing and Zell, I'm supposed to have Zellies on the channel and it's so weird. I keep not like our paths just don't cross in the right timing. Yeah. It's like for months it's been going on like this. It's so funny. I don't know, even know why. But soon I will have him on and I plan on very possibly heavily using helper in the near future. But right now, uh, I mean, I've been a waifu guy for a while now and it just like changed my life. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's when I was able to start my YouTube channel because I had time now. Well, I remember reading, I remember listening to one of your, 
your shows and you were saying you were just like in bed all day long just questing heroes like i gotta quest these like if i'm not they're just going waste and it's just like if you've got a hundred hero or several hundred heroes you're questing yeah all hours, so right? i was i lost all my money like so i just would have been so devastated from so many different things that happened it was like one after another after another after another and that there was I had sold my business and there were so many different things I was planning on doing. And like in the short term, I just put it all mostly, I ended up mostly putting it all in Luna. Okay. Like my cash and Ugh. boom, goodbye. And it was just like, and then all this other stuff happened. The harmony is just like one thing after another Voyager, all these different things. And, and so I just was sulking in my bed as a coping mechanism. What I was doing was just questing, 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 questing. And I still like have very, I'm still a mental head case still. Like I hardly get out of bed except for, and then all of a sudden when I, when I come on YouTube, it's like, I just come alive. I, I don't know what it is like a light switch. Boom. And when I have my kids and that's about it, <laughs> it's like, that's life right there. But now because of the bot, it just, is such a life changer, game changer. Look at all those, man. You're yeah, buying up all these. Well, this this archer, archer. So level six is not like ideal for me because I still uh -huh. gotta go four levels. But I'm running out of like good archer, um, archer warrior pirate subclass heroes. So I was gonna snag that. The other thing too that I'm like, when I dark summon them, you get a, you know you add the bonus tiers. Like that guy's gonna get his. Dex is his highest stat, so like I'm gonna get a bonus plus one. Like you can head, at, you can head out with a level one with like 22 dexterity. Yeah, right on the archer archers, and then you hit you and you use a greater dex, greater dex stone. Oh. Yeah, that, that, I mean that gets pricey, right? 350 crystal just for that. And that so that's 35 dollars to do that uh, in U.S. dollars, about or maybe 33 interesting man so uh, yeah wow i'll find a good pair for that archer archer to uh, to dark summon with another time but that's kind of what i mean you could apply that with anything right and uh, focus yeah. on an endurance guy um focus yeah. on um and or or even if you did the same thing because like a lot you like what you'll see is tons of people go like strength-based heroes right in, in duels it's like well you could do that same thing but beat everybody in strength with this with optimized strength yeah dark you dark summon heroes they don't even have to be hey, listen they don't even have to be legendary and mythic because that rarity bonus is a freaking joke right like how often are you getting the rarity bonus to hit the stats that you want rarity yeah. so if you're just like i want as much control of situations as possible commons and uncommon level 10s I know it feels bad. It feels bad to put a greater stone when you know it's going to come out as like an uncommon. But if you're just, if you're really like trying to get technical, like I want a duels team that is consistently going to win, commons and uncommons will do the trick if you've got the stats that you want, the backgrounds that you want. So you yeah. could beat, you could create a group of commons and uncommon level 10 heroes that you use greater might stones and then greater might crystals on that will beat every other level 10 hero uh, that's doing strength based by following a strategy like this. Right. Okay. And so you're a big duels guy now because of helper auto duels for you, right? Is that part of it as well? Yeah. I, I couldn't do it if I didn't have helper. 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 Yeah. Helper is just such a game changer. I love and it. I was, like I said, I was top 10 until uh yesterday and part of it's because i i turned it off because i'm kind of waiting for the archer subclass and or the archer class bonus to come back up because oh. you only get 90 day right and so i'm kind of waiting most of my guys are either an archer main class or subclass i'm kind of waiting for archer to come back into the rotation okay and then i will i'm definitely going to kick it back off again okay uh, i'm okay, hoping it will happen so, here soon so duels on my phone on my little iphone mini or whatever okay which is what i live on most of the time it i get the white screen of death so i've only done one duels and i didn't even see the outcome and i didn't even ever go follow up so catch me up on duels get all the new alpha that's come what do you think what do you think 
So I think um, people, a lot of people complain, have complained about botting, right? And it's right? true, like bots have an advantage, especially if the rewards, like I think the season zero rewards were like based, some of the rewards are based off of how many duels you did. That's just not fair. Right. Okay. Like right. that, I can, I totally understand why, um, why people would be upset about that. Like, but that's so good for the ecosystem, right? It's so good. So the bots, even if you don't have a bot and you don't feel like you're winning as much, what the people with bots dueling, 50% of all that crystal yeah. is burned out of existence. And then the rest goes to the, like, so much of it goes to the jeweler and the ecosystem, right? Or in the, in the quest fund for gardeners. And things like that so it's so good for the ecosystem right am i right on that yeah no no you are right there and like yeah. i i think i mentioned this before too is like you've got these guys who have like level 20 dragoons and dread knights they stamp potted those guys and the so i 2200 crystal to get to level 10 just imagine how much oh. to get to level 20 right they, I, they are buying nuts. up all of the you, you know, like it or not, they're buying up all of your quest rewards. So, right. Um, so otherwise we are, our items would be worthless. I mean, we've already seen it compared to where they used to be. It's become like, it's down 99 point something percent, <laughs> you know? So thank God for these whales, I guess you can call it in bots. In this case is good for the ecosystem. It would seem like, even, so I was manually on the last season, you know, for a couple of days, I did it, you know, hundreds of duels and it was fun. I don't mind that, you know, I'm up against people botting or whatever. Uh, so anyways. Yeah. But so the, the one thing that's, uh, they now have limits, right? So a class of a, like in war, like a single hero can only enter a war match 90 times in a 24 hour period. So now it, it's like, it doesn't really matter because previously my deck squad would have been running every three minutes, every three right. minutes they're pushing through and completing a war. I mean, that's 20 times wow. an hour, 20, 24 times, you know, 20 times, 24, 480 war matches a day, just that group. But now they, they can only do 90. So I'm a little more, um, I'm a little more careful about it. Right. Um, I'm trying to like, if I think Archer is coming up into the rotation soon. And when I say rotation, uh -huh. I mean that they now have these bonuses. So okay, so tell me about this. What's yeah, going so on if, here? If you're a monk, pirate, or ninja, as either uh, if it's your main class, you get a 25% bonus to whatever stat was selected. If it's in your subclass, you get a 15% bonus to whatever stat was selected. Oh, dang! So what this does essentially creates a a rotating meta. So I I, I usually I also I always avoid when I see like, and they they seem to come around in groups right so okay monk part ninja that those are like those make a combo right the berserker seer shapeshifter spellbow those are like the new heroes and you'll you'll often see like the wizard the priest the summoner and the sage yeah. together it's like when those guys are up i'm just generally not even because like let's say my archers go up with vitality against these summoners with vitality it's that 25% bonus is usually enough for them to beat my archer. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just, I'm going to pass on this rotation. I only have 90. I only have 90 and I'll wait till it, maybe those rotate out. Okay. So 90 duels for your, for any one hero per 24 hour period for war. And then they can also do 30 squad matches, okay. a, a hero or 10 solo matches. So they could do all three of those. So okay. technically and then, and then one hero could do, 90 120 130 130 matches in between the three okay and then what was the number two on that when you clicked on that it, yeah you know the berserker uh spell oh, yeah. who's next so no hours? that so there's there's two at every there's there's two class groups of classes that are getting a bonus at any given time they just rotate in at face time so like so it says group one shifts out in about three hours and then group two will become group one. Oh, okay. We'll get a new group two. So it just makes it so it's like a rolling, a rolling yeah. phase out. And a so instead of like, instead of a clean slate every 10 hours or whatever, it's half of them shift out every five Dude, hours. That's, that's really smart. Hours. You know, this is like an anti-botting little mechanism, sort of. Yep. And so I mean, think about it. It's like, there were some complaints that like, uh, you know, you've got guys with nine level 20 dread knights 
Well, I mean, they can only play 90 matches. Right. So they, they are limited. Yeah. Okay. And so does it still do the match mate? Because the match mate, that, that means you're not necessarily playing somebody live, right? You're playing somebody who is a good match for you within the past, however, two weeks or whatever. Right. They're not actually using a live when you hit that. Right. It's not so you can, which is good. It's not a bad thing. Right. Would, is that what that is? Uh, the that? match. The Sorry. The which part? The so like when you go and if you click on match make. Uh, if you go to do a, a duel uh -huh. and you click on that, I think what it's doing is it's just going to match you right away. With someone not necessarily live right that's there. exactly right okay okay yeah so it'll it'll just cue you against somebody that has done a match right recently already right? in the past i don't know how far back the look back is but it's just somebody that has also done a solo they'll be like they'll look at your hero power they'll try to find someone that's similar hero power similar rank and yeah. um i i'm actually really like how they changed the matchmaking as well because last season it was super 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 heavy weighted towards your hero power so like yeah. let me your example the example is if you're a level one hero you are essentially always going to play a level one hero it doesn't matter if they're rank 30 or rank right. one that's right and so what would happen is you'd have these guys summon a mythic hero with a yeah. greater stone yep so mythic already out the bat they're starting a level one hero with 10 extra stats that a, like a common wouldn't have from the rarity right. bonus then they've got a plus eight from the greater stone right they're, they're just essentially curb stomping everyone and it didn't matter um it didn't matter because they would there was that there's a win streak element where every time you successive win you're guaranteed more points so because they were such right. higher rank they were only getting one for the matchmaking like xp but it doesn't matter because they would get end up getting like seven because of the mat right. win streak. Or if they won fifty, somebody won like sixty-seven matches in a row or something. I think. Yep. So yeah. maybe it was even more than that. So now that's not the case. So if you are playing your level one yeah, so and you have a high rank, you're going to be going against people with like level tens. Yeah, I've yeah. seen people. I've seen level ones go against level tens, and I'm like, you know what? I like that because one, yeah. it also incentivizes. Um, it it felt bad, right? You had a high 10, 10 levels is a long time of manually questing. Yes. Like it takes a long time. And so like oh, man. to just be like, well, it doesn't really matter. Mean? Um, the level one, like the super optimized level one is gonna carry the to the top ten ranks. That's not the case anymore. Interesting. So this is so cool. So where do you come up with all the crystal for this? So you're you're forking out a lot of crystal, but but do you take those winnings of the rap tickets, okay, and then you go and you win some greater stuff, some big uh, raffles, and do, do you sell some of that off to help fund all that? Or Yeah, so I generally avoid, um, I'm trying to like, you know, be responsible and not just like continue to ape money in. So what I, what I do is like, I lock, I have my locked balances that I mine. Oh yeah, sure. Um, you know, I've got eighteen thousand yeah. locked crystals, so that's nice. mining forty-five a day. Wow. I have jade, locked jade that I'm mining, yep. and I honestly, I've, I've been selling that, and that's like almost three for one for crystal at this point. Right. So that's... that that some that fuels a lot of my gameplay is yeah. jade. Yeah, I love it, dude. But this yeah. is awesome. I'm I'm eating this up. It's good to see you so excited. I feel like when it got real down, right, with, through the winter of DeFi Kingdoms, I remember hoping that you were going to hang in there. Like, but it seems like life has been injected into Sandwich Punch, baby. Yeah. It seems like for a while there, you were still doing your thing, which I don't give you near enough credit for crank like this week once again you cranked out the ama uh medium article like before the song at the end of the video <laughs> ended <laughs> like you you have to use some kind of like voice thing right that you're, you're not sitting there typing that out no, are dude, you? i i so i tried i tried like a ai transcription um it's just it doesn't work well it's it's not good so you, enough right 
So You're I'm literally, I'm just like going ham over here, typing You're it out. You're typing. You're typing. Yeah. Like smoke is coming off the keyboard the whole time. No way. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, can you type like 800 words a minute or something? That's crazy. Um, it's, it's pretty high. So the reason why I, I guess I attribute it to two things. One, playing games like Warcraft 3 and Starcraft growing up. Um, and then two, for my job, uh, you know, I started out as a as an attorney and it, we'd get on these giant calls. Right. And it, it'd be on these billion dollar merger transactions or notes offerings or these capital markets transactions. And very, very, very important things would be said. And it only took one time for the partner to turn to me after the call and he'd be like, hey, what did he what did they say? Like, what was that thing they said? And I was like, ah. I didn't catch that. He's like, this is your job. Like, I Ooh. need you to tell, Ooh. like, you need to know, like, you need to be paying attention to this call and tell me exactly what happens. And from that moment forward, I was like, you know, I am never letting this happen again. And I just got really good at typing almost transcription, you know, what would happen on these calls so that if I ever got called on again, the partner wouldn't be able to chew my ass out for it. I, so, Dude, I am like, I am just mind blown right now. So you literally keep up live with that. Your grammar <laughs> yeah. is always perfect. All of that's perfect. You you even add in little extra things. What the heck? You're actually typing that live. Oh, like your what is your IQ? It's, oh, I, to it's not high. It's not high information. Like I I need a second to process in my brain, and then for my brain to tell my fingers what the hell to do on the keyboard. Like holy smokes. Uh, maybe wow. I should live stream it sometime. I'll I'll I'll, I'll live stream at the same time as the the AMA, just me like furiously typing away. What in the heck, man? Mind blown. Okay. You know, part so, of the issue too is like the AI will it'll it does a pretty good job, but it's like delayed. And then by the time I notice, like it it's 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 behind. And then by the time I notice it was something was wrong, I have to go back and listen to the video anyways to be like, what exactly did they say there? Right. And then the AI doesn't, it's not good at determining like who's speaking. Right. And I think it's really valuable for me to be able to be like, this is Dreamer speaking. And then it was right. Huber. And then it was Magnus. And right. then like, so wow. the AI just isn't there yet. It's not there. So that is purely you typing, keeping just up will, live. Straight up live. man powering it. Yeah. Goodness gracious. You're, you're, dude, I need to build a shrine for Sandwich Punch. <laughs> right here next to Hubert and Workhorse and Mr. Zipper, and, you know, everybody dreamer, man, crazy. Okay. So it seems like life has been injected into Sandwich Punch. And I remember seeing that switch, right? So I, I used to watch you guys, you know, really towards the beginning when I was first got into the game, it was like, it was like Brown Gent and Christian Peter and Tosh and you know climb crypto and those guys and then not it not too long after that it was inner grove and it i remember for a bit it almost i was wondering if you guys you were even thrown in a towel because i know you got hammered with luna and different things yeah and and then all of a sudden it seemed like life was injected back into sandwich punch tell me more tell me more yeah so there was a couple things right so yeah. things went south i got i like i really got wrecked right luna yeah. i i was i thought i was being safe and being like responsible like i'm taking profits right i'm, I'm getting ust i'm putting it on anchor protocol i'm earning 20 percent. like this is the safe play yeah is, um and then you know i had a bunch of stables in one usdc and i had it in 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 a bunch of different oh. wallets right and i didn't get Damn. enough of it off fast enough and um Gosh, and then man. you know i was i was so bullish on everything here i didn't i didn't take enough profits and i remember pulling out of my gardens at like four dollar jewel and i just i was like i hate this i hate myself for doing this but then i'm so glad i did because it went to you know as low as it did so mm -hmm. um i was definitely down from that but i was i was never like completely out and then the yeah. summer happened and the summer is just really busy right i've got three little ones um baby punch he lives here we live in the same area um and we we had bought we bought a boat together 
um and it was our first time ever like and so we we went boating so much this summer and so like we were honestly Good. just it wasn't that we were like we're just done i hate this it's just right we were so busy we, we you live needed in a area. break you we probably just area. needed a break from all this yeah yeah that's that, good. honestly that was it and it was it was yeah. when uh dfk helper hadn't really started up but i was one of like uh zealous's like guinea pigs right. and so it's like you know what like my guys are questing yeah and summer was just really busy man we were we're out we like to do a lot of stuff outside. We like to go four wheeling really? with the kids. We like to get out and hit the lake when we can, because okay. um, we live in an area where we have awful winters. We were negative 16 degrees Celsius yesterday, or, uh, sorry, Fahrenheit, negative 16 right. Fahrenheit yesterday. Nuts. And we have short summers. So when summer is here, um, yeah. we just you take advantage of it. Yeah. Do you still work a job? Are you? Yeah, so yeah. And I have, and I'm, and I am, summer is like also a really busy, um time of the year for my job so yeah. i work i do corporate securities law okay so you're you still work as a lawyer man wow yeah and it's it's like way busier than i would like i would love to i would love to not be as busy as i am but it's it's definitely a lot gosh dang i tell you the caliber of the human beings we have in this ecosystem like as i'm looking at born to die 007 right here this his phenomenal tool and all these guys in the chat, Apex and or FX, it's FX, Zabu, Zelf, uh, Swiss crypto guy. That's another big duels guy. I bet you go up against him. Do you go up against Karakit? <laughs> He's uh well Karakit, Karakit, we uh you know, we we both use helper. Um and he's he's like a legend, man. He yeah. he's very smart. Right. He has such good strategies. Um I don't know. Honestly, I don't think I've played him yet in duels. Okay. But, okay. But we both like lament. We're like, man, I just lost 600 MMR today in duels. I don't know what happened. It was only 90 matches and I just like, they took my pants. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I remember one day uh, in Frisky was trying to adjust some things uh, with the duels. And like one day you dropped like over 500 in your rank or something. Yeah. <laughs> it was like something was a little off. I like woke up mm. overnight. That's when it was, there was no limit. So like, yeah, you know, something bad would happen and, or, and because of the way it was, it's like, I was queuing with like a level 16 hero. There are very, you know, there that market or that pool of heroes that are that high level is thin. And so you'd end up playing one guy over and over and over. And if his element beats you, you just be like, see ya. You're like your MMR is gone when you wake up. Wow. Crazy. Okay. So other strategy things in the game. I know yeah. that's one of the things you wanted to talk about. So strategy, your strategy for making money long-term is build up these heroes. I think my lo my long-term, like my biggest long-term play, I think that is the best play for me is stacking Jewel. Sure. Um, and yeah. the heroes the heroes are a way to do that. Like I'm not just, you know, I'm not spending money on greater deck stones and crystals just cause it's fun. Like it's, and I like theory crafting. It's cause I'm trying to win duels, get a bunch of raffle tickets and, you know, buy those greater stone packs or raffles or the greater crystal raffles because yeah, those okay. can be, those can definitely, like you win those and even selling those at like bare bottom prices, you, that's a lot of crystal. So yeah, right. I, I would say long-term strategy. My biggest thing is just stacking Jewel. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm just really excited to see what happens to like Valley of Heroes when PvP and PvE comes out. Yeah, how, how, many, how many heroes do you have now? What are you up to on that? Um, I think I'm up to like a little over 200. Okay. Problem is I dark summoned so many. Like I, I sent so many to the pits. I was planning on it too. Did you win some Gen Zeros in that? It's uh, not from dark summoning, but I did from the normal summoning. Okay. That's how I got my legionnaire. Okay. And then did what are you doing with your jewel? Or did you go heavy into the jeweler for this Gen Zero raffle? <laughs> for this one, I didn't. I'm I put in five thousand. Okay. Um not, not five thousand S jewel, like not five thousand dollars worth. I, I listened I, to your stream with Ogre yeah. and um I actually didn't see I was. I wanted to see what was the bump we got from the. We got uh, a nice bump, Chet. You'll be blown away. 
And, and I noticed it's not in the Crystal Veil jeweler. It's not in the C jeweler. It's only in the S jeweler. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, it was a nice a good comp, bump. right? Probably because there's way more people in C jewel. So you, you got such a smaller share. Oh, so do we know those numbers? So I know that there's three hundred, like 3.6 million S jewel. How... I, and I know that close to 30 million Joule was put into the C jeweler, but I don't know how much of that was C Joule. All oh, that's some interesting. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Uh, Long Zai, you know, Long Zai, he does some like yeah. really awesome articles. I'm I sure know. he's got that detail. Yeah, yeah. I I know that I remember it, it the the num amount of C Joule almost hit 30 million before the raffle ended, anyways. And then but and we can see, I have the website where we can see the number of S jewel and it hit about 3.6 million. So I was like, wait, that has to be way, way less than the Crystal Veil uh, jeweler, right? I think. Yeah. 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 You know what? There is a way. There is a way to see the C jewel. There, you can just look up the C jewel contract address. Um, let me see if I can find that real quick. Okay. And then yeah, you can go to so the AVAX Explorer or the okay. Subnet Explorer. Yeah. that I think that's what the guy did with the on the Clayton side. And so I'm just like, I'm pretty sure this is like way less jewel put into this. Okay. So if I can win a gen zero, um, so it just makes sense, right. To put in to, to kind of ape into that one because less people aped into it and you kind of get your money back <laughs> depending on how much you put in, but I, I put it in. And also, with what they're working on. I know this isn't final or anything, but as far as being able to, we're, we're basically gonna be able, what they're working on is to subscribe to either an influencer or a third party dev or like a guild or different things. We'll be able to a lot of possibly, you know, they're still working on it, but Christian Peter was talking about this on his stream and a few other people where we can a lot a portion like for Board to Die 007, it, he, we can become a member of his without paying any money because it's still our jewel but we a lot of a certain amount of c jewel or s jewel and he gets the interest you know and yeah. so that's how these influencers and different third-party developers uh can make money in the game and that's i just thought that's so genius so much yeah, that's, that is a great idea right so much use case okay so, so is this much i don't know that it'll show us how many c jewel there are but it will tell us how many jewel are right. how many jewel are locked up. Okay, so it's 20 million. So that almost hit 30 million. So a lot of people just did it for a month or two. Interesting. Yeah, yeah so there's currently about here. 20 million locked jewel, but we don't know exactly how much C jewel. Wow. Somebody just somebody increased their lock. They put another twenty five hundred jewel in. I'm always curious, man. I, I like to look up this kind of stuff and see. That is, I love um, it. When was that? That was like today. Somebody did let's that. Let's see who this is. Let me see if I can uh, <laughs> I'll pretend to like. I'll pretend to like send them a hero or something. <laughs> I'm like about to dox it, somebody man. here. You can see like, who's who's bullish here. Like what? Is, who who's who locked up? Well, Jackie but see, Crypto. Jackie jewel. Crypto. Put in, he increased his lock by another twenty five hundred jewel. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I should probably respect people's privacy and not post stuff like that. <laughs> I love that, man. I'm so bullish. I'm becoming like a jewel maxi. Oh, the wanderer is saying uh, the the bot in Discord will tell you. Oh, how many? Yeah. I'll pull that up real quick. Okay. Oh. That bot is awesome. Like I that's know. Zipper. When, when did they add that? That's a new thing. It's so cool. I, I'm I'm that. always using that bot to pull up the um the rankings for uh duels. So let's see. Okay. How do I? I'm not sure how to find it. Okay. But uh, yeah, we'll take a look. Apparently HeroBot in Discord will tell you. I wonder if it's one of those like rotating, like in the well, in the right, it like. 
Yeah, in the upper right hand side. Let me check now. I, I'm I'm working on. I got another monitor that came in, and I need to add that. But okay. Thirty one. It said thirty one point eight million jewel deposited. That's probably between um, both Serendel and Crystal Vale. Okay. The hero bot watching. Okay, so fifty. 32,000 sacrifice heroes. So yeah, that's cool. Um, definitely check that out, people. Yeah. Okay. And so, and then your strategy with items, different things. Do you just dump your items? What are you doing with your items? So I don't dump them. Um, okay. Right now, I think most, I LP a lot of it. Yeah, with, uh, good. With Kate Helper. Yes. It's like not enough, right? Like it's like, okay, whoopee, am I going to sell all of my iron root or whatever for 10 crystal? It's like, nah, dude, that, that doesn't really move it for me. So yeah. I'd rather just kind of like long play community benefits because I'm adding liquidity. And then if it goes up, it's like, I'll get, I'll get it, you know, take advantage of the volume and the price if it goes up. Enough, right. It's right? so huge. I, I wish so, I was providing liquidity is so vital even to the ecosystem, especially in Sarendale. We so need you can liquidity. Yeah. yeah, we do. So you can see here, it's like I've got essentially 11 crystal worth of yeah. frost bloaters. I've got you know 4.5% okay. of the pool. Wow. See, that is so good for the ecosystem, you doing that. And you're going to get a lot of rewards from that. I don't know. Are you keeping track of any of that or you can't? It's really, really hard. This is so helper. It's is super it auto, hard. Yeah, yeah it, it's super hard to track your gains on pool rewards because what happens is I'm pretty sure these just slowly increase from the volume. Like, because mm -hmm. every you get 0.03% of every trade or whatever. Yep. And what I think it does is it ends up converting into a little bit more LP tokens for you. Yeah. And, and so. It's not like you have like some reward to claim. It's just this, the value of this just goes up. Yeah. But then I'm also adding to it daily from DFK Helper, so it's really hard. That's what. That's track. the hard part is because the bot does it for you, which is genius, baby. Shout out to Helper and Zellies and Coolio, man. So, okay, but and also based off the slippage too, you might, you know, you make even more potentially than the three. 0.3%, you know, or whatever on the fees. So on high volume of the trading, that's when it's big. <sighs> so, and when all these use cases come. So I've got like, for example, I've got like 120 green eggs to hatch that because on the tiers, the tiers, I want to, I just, I can't get past the tiers issue. There's <laughs> to, just to hatch the 120 eggs is going to cost 24,000 tiers. Yeah, that's those. so much. And tears are expensive now. Were you, so, when? How early were you in in DeFi Kingdoms? Great. Uh, I first uh, bought my first hero like in March of this year, so I was a little okay. late. Okay, so you yeah. weren't you weren't here when tears. There was a period. I'm not kidding. So let me paint the picture $40 here. Forty dollars per Everyone tier. Everyone was so excited, right? That's like, oh my gosh, we can summon. We can summon with our freaking NFTs. But there was the only tiers were airdropped. There was right. no way to get it. And so this was before even the wishing well, which I don't know if you're familiar yep. with the wishing well. I, I know all about all this. Yeah. Okay. And, and yeah, it was $40. just. $40. Yeah. It, and I remember Tosh tried to summon a dragoon. And it was like a, it was like a $6,000 summon because <laughs> tiers, you know, the cost of tiers for an elite summon is like 80 or whatever, right? It's so much right. more than the 10. And yeah. um, it was just, it was wild. And then they overdid it on the drop rates, right? So when Hubert announced, uh, like it was like in August, Hubert announced that the drop rates of tiers were going to be one fifth, one fifth, an 80% reduction of tiers. I was like, oh, oh my gosh, tiers are going to pump. Guys, so I bought 100,000 tiers. <laughs> okay. And I had them up for liquidity and stuff. You and still then, have them? They just didn't do much. They didn't do much. Okay, so I ended up using them and selling them off before they pumped. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> ah! I didn't wait. If I would have just waited like another month, killing me. 
That's so awesome. now they're like up over a penny per tier. And and then you've got things like Swift Thistle. Swift Thistle is super expensive. It's like yeah. twelve cents. So the cost of a um, cost of a DFK stamp bot last time I checked was forty cents. Oh, Swift yeah. Thistle alone is twelve of that cents. Thirteen cents. Dang. So yeah, and the tiers. How much are the tiers part of that? How much are the, the tiers right now? So it's up over a penny. So and to get the the stamp pots, it costs some tiers, I think, right? I believe so. Let's check it real fast. So everything is going up. That's why I'm really glad I've got an army of heroes still. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, you got yeah. ten tiers. Um, Shimmerfin. Ten tiers to get two K gold. Yeah, the gold will follow. So just imagine. Okay, so twenty four thousand tiers just to hatch one hundred and twenty eggs, and I don't know how many thousands of green eggs are out there ready to be hatched. <laughs> okay, yeah. can you imagine where tiers are headed? Is <clears throat> Yeah, how many how many tiers are we talking about? I forget. So it's two hundred for it, Grace Favor and Boom. Two hundred for each. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There doesn't matter. Tiers each. It's two hundred. So that's why I'm starting to boon again. I'm all about booning and not not gracing. What do you do on these? Um. So I'm I'm actually hatching. Right. You can't see my approvals right now. I'm I'm gonna hatch these seven eggs. But yeah. Um. I just do the cheapest one, man. I, Dude. I did the I did the most expensive one, and it was just, it was uh, I I didn't the results were like super underwhelming. Yeah, and right. so and they, I just um do the cheap one. Yeah, so now you want to rethink that because of the tier price is more expensive than the crystal itself price yeah it, yep that's a good uh, point that's a really good point it, i think the tier price is getting close to 10 crystal so at least doing the middle one uh because also the chances you've got five times the chances to get a mythic on the middle one than you do on the bottom one it's all about getting the mythic pets that's in the legendary and the rares are okay too but when you when you have a 5x percent chance and with the cost of the tiers being becoming like the most the highest valued thing to hatch these, you don't want to be dumping all your tiers on that, especially the bottom one. So yeah, like, thank you for flagging that. I um I just went into my DFK helper settings and changed it so that now all of mine will incubate with the medium one instead okay. of the yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I'm I'm doing, doing the top one again. So I was on the medium one, but now because of the the price of the tiers, and I just think it's going to keep going. Like, I don't know what to do. <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to afford hatching just my 100 green eggs that I have. That's going to cost 24,000 tiers just for my little wallet to That's hatch all its eggs. Imagine all the thousands of green eggs that are out there. Did, uh, so you go to deckscreener.com. I saw you were on there. All yeah. right, let's get and that is that where you see can you see like how many green eggs are in existence um no you'd have to that that you'd have to go to like the you'd have to pull up but we can do okay. that we you'd uh let me pull up the crystal contract for green eggs um the okay. the deck screener just shows you like liquidity pools so wow um, so for example so gift deck... tiers there's only there's 2.6 thousand dollars worth of of liquidity so that's half of it is in tiers and half of it yeah. is in jewel okay that's just with jewel but is there also like a tiers gold um Ooh. let's see okay tiers crystal there's 625 of that tiers, tiers Jade. And clayton and clayton jewel is 1.3k tiers gold 213 dollars worth of liquidity that's all see it would make sense for gold to become one of the primary liquidity tokens to pair with all these items because you're just better off putting your jade, especially in your jewel and and probably your crystal. I don't know about the crystal into the liquidity pools. I mean, into the gardens. Um, so I was thinking that gold for the holders of items, I was thinking gold would become the primary liquidity item to pair with items. 
Because if, yeah. if, if, if you're hanging on to all of your items, and I talked to Zellies about this too, if you're hanging on to all your items and you have all this gold, you might as well pair them with the gold, not with jewel or crystal or jade. Uh, anyways, okay, this is how many green eggs? No, I'm trying to find it. I would have thought that this would have been able to pull up like the how many holders, number. how many holders there are, or like the total number. But for yeah. some reason, okay, I got really good at this. Like the explorer is back with um, harmony, and then I kind of like I haven't kept up with it. Yeah, so. So what are you going to do? How many green eggs do you have? Do you have a bunch of green eggs or not? I have, uh, I think, 84. Okay. Yeah, 84. So, so to hatch 84 eggs, I don't if whether or not you use boon, grace, or favor, 84 times 200 tiers. Okay, that's 16,000 tiers, which is $168 or no, it's like one hundred and eighty dollars in tears, just in the tears, yeah. just to hatch those. Let alone all the <laughs> other items, the gold and the crystal. I yeah, that's, that's a lot. I should. I bet we see another spike too in tier prices. I think. You yeah, I bet. I that. could see tears doing another like ten x. I could see it becoming ten cents or more, eleven cents per tier. Like, gosh, pretty dang. wild. Oh, be pretty wild. Oh, well, so what do I do? Do I sell the tears and the eggs and then buy the pets I want? <laughs> I like, I can't figure out my strategy for this. I think, um, as long as you're not going for like legendaries and mythic pets, like if you just want a bunch of floor stuff, I'd, you're probably better off just buying the pets, right? Because I don't um, have the mosh odds. I don't have the mod shots. I feel like that's the that's generally the case with summoning in general, right? Like you summon if you're the D-Gen trying to hit like a legendary. Yeah. Like a mosh. Or a mythic. Yeah. Yeah. So the brown gent, same thing. So brown gent, who's in the house, baby. We're going live What's later up, brown tonight gent? to do fight club. We're gonna have a fight club video tonight. And then tomorrow, brown gent, we got a big one tomorrow, Christmas Eve stream with lots of giveaways, lots going on there. Okay. But so yeah so brown gent style is like and he's probably right just sell your items and then buy the stuff you want buy the pets you want buy the heroes you want get get you know brown gent really focuses on getting only like your top tier of pets and heroes and stuff so that's a strategy i think that works well for him and then i see the mythic squad that kind of does the opposite right they're they're just straight d gens and they make it work so yep. interesting i think um waiting if you if you're like if you're trying to make the play of like okay materials to hatch green eggs are gonna pop i would just save the all of those materials and just wait for that pop and then sell them the reality is too it's like there's just not that much liquidity so it's not going to be i think either way yeah you're talking 2.7 thousand dollars of tears on crystal veil another 1.3 on clayton oh sorry I'm and that that sure was like in that one pool right so, so you're talking I mean, like four yeah you're talking like between all of the different tiers pools okay all we're of talking let's see 100 300 650 yeah. 1300 2600 we're looking at like 5200 dollars worth of um tiers in pools and that divided by two right even so so yeah yeah so yeah. that's the pool. So like that's with the jewel or the crystal or jade or whatever it's yeah. paired with. So, um, which means, yeah, things can be like really like aggressive, right? So somebody's like, I need one hundred and twenty dollars. Like, what did you say? How much would it cost to hatch all your eggs? How many like U.S. dollars worth? Uh, uh just in tears alone, uh, close to two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. All right. Like, so somebody goes to this one point uh, over on Clayton. We've only got fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred dollars worth yeah. of tears. Somebody goes over there and is like, "I'm gonna, I need two hundred dollars worth of tears." Like, that's gonna be like a twenty percent price impact, right? Right. So like, then, if you're so just sitting there waiting good. for that, it's good to have the sellers too because that keeps the price down. So people saving these items and then dumping. <clears throat> 
on the market when the green eggs come out, when tears are pumping is actually good for the people that actually want to hatch the eggs. So that's another thought too, as far as just a quick uh, side point here is if you're providing liquidity, guys, you should be putting a lot of your liquidity right now in Serendale because in Serendale, there's so, such little liquidity, low liquidity, like on crystals and things that um, you, you make the most money in these pools when there's low liquidity and high volume. Okay. So if you get in those Serendale pools, you're going to be a larger percentage of the pool, right? So you're going to get more fees on those trades and we just need because there's i can't believe there's still like not liquidity even for eggs for crystals uh like to buy the the lesser crystals to level those right. type things should you know we need more liquidity it's so crucial for the whole ecosystem to provide liquidity um if i had more money see before i was like the liquidity king right i was like tons of liquidity for everything um and it's just good for the ecosystem when that happens. But now I'm kind of going broke. I got to like look three, four months ahead. I'll be running out of money. And so, uh, you know, yeah. I, I'm trying to figure out my game plan. So I'm going to have to start taking some money out of the game at some point. <laughs> um, right. Well, hey, man, I, I've actually got to hop off soon, okay. but there was one other thing. First of yeah. all, thank you so much for joining. I've, like These conversations have been awesome. I've been really yeah, enjoyed so your questions. Um, there was one thing, so you, you might recall, and I'm going to bring up this chart. This is um, Jade on launch. This is the minute chart. So this is one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven. The first seven minutes. Oh, my gosh. It went from 15 cents to 70 cents. So, and when we were on the stream the other night with Mythic Squad last week, I remember you mentioning like you're, you were trying to push the transaction through, it kept getting stuck. Yeah. And yeah. I love this, dude. Like this, this, this five minutes here is like, <laughs> I, I love it. Like, it gets my adrenaline going. There was so much of this in the Harmony heydays. And when I say Harmony heydays, I'm talking like, you know, summer of 2021 for six months, right? The next six months. It was just like, you know, new tokens popping up. Everyone's doing fair launch, so it's not like an IDO. Or even if there is an IDO, even if there is an IDO, there's an, a liquidity open somewhere on some yeah. deck somewhere, right? These aren't right. listed on centralized exchanges. And so mm -hmm. there's always going to be some total degen play. And so I created <laughs> I created my guide. My uh, I, I, I gave some of these tips, but I created a guide that I'm calling my... Let me share it here. Okay. I um, love it. I love it. <laughs> Let's see. What do I? Sandwich punches, uh, DGen guide to fair launches. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so things you've got to do. You yes. have to set your slippage. Uh, right. Uh, and so, what does that mean? Let me show you real quick. Mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. go to you go to DeFi Kingdoms. And I, I think this is important because what's really exciting is soon contracts, people, anybody will be able to launch a token on DFK chain. Right now you can't, right? If I want to create sandwich punch token, I could do that on any other chain, but I cannot do that on DFK chain. Because I have to be not, the first to buy that token, my man. It's not whitelisted, right? <laughs> a shrine is being built to sandwich punch today. Right. Mm. So what I do I mean by set your slippage? So, cause this is yeah. like, this is the number one, like this happens to everyone. This is what happened to me. And this is why I ended up buying some jewel, right? I mean, some Jade right at the beginning because I kept getting rejected, rejected. And then the, finally it goes through when I did <laughs> go through because I was like literally going a hundred miles an hour. And if you don't though, if you don't set the slippage, right, you miss you, you miss. miss that. That's um, why my transactions kept failing. Yes. Yeah. You miss that. You saw that chart I showed. Like. Yes. Let me let me go back to it real quick. Well, let's the just chart. set the slippage. So. Yeah. So, the so slippage. What does that mean? So, like, let's just say you're buying jade, right? Mm -hmm. And and I had my clay. I was ready to go. Yeah. It's like okay, I want to buy twenty thousand clay worth of jade. Yeah. At right now, it's small slippage, but when at launch, it's like, well, let's do a big number here. You know, two, uh, we'll go less, like 
you know, it's right like there. this is a thirty-two percent chance. If I try to if I try to initiate that because it has a thirty-two percent five percent price impact, when I go right. to approve this, it I'll get errors or sometimes yeah. let's not even go that dramatic. <laughs> um, let's just go like two hundred thousand clay, like an eight yeah. percent price impact. What right now my slippage is only zero point five percent slippage tolerance. What that means is if the price changes unfavorably enough, but between the time I hit submit this transaction and the time it's like ready to like log on the chain, it yeah. will just revert. It'll kick it right. back. And right. so you don't want that. If you're doing these total DGN plays where it's like fair launch, everyone, you know, everyone's aping, you've got to set. And, and again, this is super risky too, but you yeah. go, um, 49.99%. That's usually the highest you can go <laughs> on a deck. And you set it. Uh, okay, okay, I've got that. And then do you change the minutes too? Do you leave it at 20 minutes? I always change that to one minute. Yeah, change this. You can yeah. kick this down, you know, kick it down to one. Um, <laughs> whatever you want. I mean, it, here's the thing. It's, if it's, if it doesn't go through at that first one, you've cut, you've generally missed it. So. Yeah. Um, Dang. So, so that's number one, right? Set your slippage high. Otherwise, it'll kick the transaction back. Number two, approve token approvals as early as you can. You, if you're playing this, if you're playing that Jade chart, which mooned and then immediately yeah. within, oh. we're talking within 10 minutes, it was back down to reality. Yeah. You For have seven. to sell. You have to take the profits. Don't be the chump that buys and doesn't sell it, right? It's okay. It's like you're not. You're not bearish on a project when you're playing those first five minutes. Like, yeah, we're just five minutes. We're here to make money, and so um, what you would do is like as, as soon as you you see that swap through, you hit this arrow, you swap it back, and then there will <laughs> pop up a green. It'll be like it'll be like approved jade, and it's like even if you're not ready to sell your jade, get that transaction approval out because when it is time to sell your jade, you're gonna be like crap. I have to approve it to access my jade first, right. and that takes thirty seconds to go through, and then boom. The chart's gone. You're done. And, you're and not you were able to approve it ahead of time because no, I remember nope. thinking we couldn't. You can't. So you can't. Okay. You so, can't. so what? You're what just... I mean by do it as fast as you can. As soon as you see your transaction go through, you just pretend like you're about to do a swap and sell it again immediately. Yeah. Immediately. Okay. And then well, it'll, it'll be like approve, but then you just don't hit like don't hit the button that says submit the transaction. Just say approve my jade. Okay, and so that you way you're ready it, to go. Give it a minute or two. And then you just watch. You you know, you watch, you've got your 100 jade or whatever, and you just watch the price of clay going yeah. up and up and up. And, and what I do is I, um, so you do that. You prove your token approvals. <laughs> Another thing is you can reset your MetaMask just to make sure there's no pending transactions. Oh, Always yeah. do a test DEX transaction before. But this one is my big one, and I've had a lot of success with this. You ladder out sales. So say so you had 1,000 jade. This uh -huh. is what I did on Jade Launch. I bought whatever I, I I knew the number that I bought, and then I just did twenty five percent, and I would just watch, and every and I just watched this price as the clay went up, boom, sell, and then I'd go sell. another twenty five percent, boom, sell, and I think I went in, I I think I put in four thousand dollars worth of clay, and I made an extra three thousand dollars worth of clay when I Dang. when all was said and done, which Dang. I really needed because I've had such bad plays lately, but um wow. so. And then, uh, Mary, and then did you rebuy again, like when it dipped down for a minute to 24 cents? Uh, no, I didn't actually. I, I oh, just, man. um, because I have, uh, I got the vested jade and I have my locked jade. I'm just farming those. And so yeah, I didn't buy back in yet. Cause it was like, uh, I want to see what's going on. So yeah, 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 yeah. I was watching rock a <coughs> channel and it, it like dipped back down to 24 cents. And that's when I bought back in and then it went back up to 39 or 40 cents. And then it dipped back down again, like below 20 cents. And I bought some and then it went back up to 25 cents. Now it's like going down. We're seeing a Jade crash today, big time. Um, yeah, what, let me, uh, let me. I think it's down to like 21 cents or something. Okay. Still so yeah. high compared to Crystal. I know, right? But the liquidity pool interest is still high, right? So that's. Yeah, I mean, there's and, six... and because of the summoning event, are you summoning at all on, are you spending Jade to summon right now to get those um, massive tickets? I am doing a little bit. I'm not going okay. as ham as I was because it's it's kind of hard for me. I like, you saw like the strategies I'm trying to employ on Crystalville. And so I have to, like every decision I make, it's like, okay, 
yeah. every summon is 3x almost the cost right. of crystal like would i rather like do my <laughs> my dj and dex optimization strat or would right. I rather summon so right I'm kind of trying to balance between those you have to pick your battles because if you're doing all these duels you can only do so much right so you have to kind of pick your thing yeah wow okay well i love you we Thanks, gotta do man. this more we do we do need to we do need to get together more um we should uh maybe we should we should do like a fight club stream sometime hey tonight i let's i, I can't do tonight i'm so after this i'd be pretty tied up we've got and then we've got family coming in but uh let's let's definitely do one i i'm not a huge fan of the baby weight stuff but i do right. love the like you know level eight to 12 stuff yeah because we that's what i have so we could totally have because i've got a team that that could at least hold its own with you yeah I've we should we should play because i i had to play yeah. france twice and he kicked my butt in the the, the whale tournament and nice. um but i had a but ton you of fun couldn't use you couldn't use your like level 16 <laughs> guys that you were talking nope, about i just have so another we, set of we guys could do a full-blown heavyweight hey so one last question i have for you have you ever thought about going full-time with the team of DeFi Kingdoms? Um, you know, and if if there were an opportunity like that, um, I would definitely consider it. Consider it. Um, so I'll, I'll be the first to nominate Sandwich Punch to be the next staff <laughs> of DeFi Kingdoms, baby. <laughs> um, well, we should, why, why don't I, I return the nomination and get you in there. Your, your enthusiasm, enthusiasm and energy is exactly what this project needs, so. I really appreciate it personally, and I know everybody else does too. I love you, man. I love you guys. Community tune fed, baby. Apex, man. All right, sandwich. Can't wait till next time. We'll do it again. We'll chat. We'll stay in touch. We're busy. Love yeah, you, dude. Man. And uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Whatever you yes. celebrate. I, you know, hope you have a good time with y your kids. And thank you, man. Um, yeah. yeah, dude. Wishing you the best. Hey, I love you. Love you. Thank you, Stream, for joining us. Appreciate it.